Experiment. Explore. Enjoy. Okay, so we're here with Leo at uh, the Micro Rack stand. So yeah, what have you got to show us, Leo? Hi, uh, yeah, we're here for the first time. We're debuting at Super Booth actually, and we're launching soon. So preparing everything to show the, for the people and to the people for the first time. And we are making the new concept of the synthesis uh, of the modular synthesis in in compact format. Uh, this is the modular synth, which is uh, going to be the most accessible one on the market. I hope for the people who want to try modular and. Uh, maybe they cannot afford it or it's too big for them or maybe they want to try things before they buy some other setup but actually this is uh, not just some test thing or just a toy it's a huge synth which sounds like a, uh, really powerful and amazing so and uh, one of the goal was the, to give people a lot of uh, variability in sound so they can experiment not just some noisy things but a lot of musical stuff and musical sounding sound so we have a few models already uh, developed and built which are in pre-release state so we are hoping to get them polished in the month in the next month and to launch in june on the kickstarter so excellent and um what module are we plugged into what are we listening to at the moment yeah here? now what we are listening for the additive setup which has like three vcos uh also it has a filter and for now that's it it's just a few few vcos just an additive synthesis uh, demonstration. Okay, and what does it sound like if you change some of the parameters? Yeah, let's let's do this. We can change the pitch. Uh, let me monitor this a bit. Yeah, we can change the pitch or other settings or speed. But uh, now they're working in a slow modulation mode, but if we want to go really additive to make it sound in the harmonic, we can go really quick, really fast, open the filter. And, yeah. and so how many, can you just explain what modules are here? What's uh, making up that me? sound? Can you just explain what, what modules here are making up the sound? Yeah, so how, uh, how many have we got? Yeah, we got here just actually, if we will take out everything that is not actually uh, creating the sound right now, we get just four modules basically without power and output. Uh, it's three VCOs and a filter. So one is modulating another and uh, some of them go straight to the filter uh, without the modulations, but but anyhow, uh, they are all interconnected to to affect each other. So, and this is not big setup. Uh, you, I mean, you can just make it work with your single breadboard. We can just put it all all here. Uh, yeah, like that, and it will work just fine separately. I mean, we can. It's yeah, it's pretty mobile so it's so its own self-contained unit yeah it's self-contained unit yeah uh, you see we can we Brilliant. can have it separately of the rack and it will work uh, as powerful as it were before so it need no, no more uh, additional power or anything you just need some your any power bank which work with type c and the headphones so you can take this powerful thing uh, on a go and play in the train with this huge modular actually sound Excellent, excellent. And you've got an array of different modules here. There are some different things. Can you just yeah, describe sure. what they do? Yeah, we have this one uh, funny and entertaining setup, which creates uh, interesting noises. Uh, I can switch it on also. But uh, we just made it before the exhibition. It's, it's the DIY modules. This is the power of our platform, uh, where you can have any module right on your breadboard, because we use breadboards. And you can solder things, you can attach and, uh, I mean sensors, Arduino, everything you want, and create your own synth right here on the breadboard or on your separate PCB, which is also available everywhere. So you can 
fiddle around and DIY things. A lot of other our ideas they come through this DIY process where we just prototyping it and basically some of the prototypes we made just recently two days ago so you can already see this one uh, which we made like uh, a few days ago and it works with the stepper motor which gives you control voltage we Great. have this indicator which gives you the level uh, indication and and we can run it uh, through delay to have some funny effects so let, let me try to set this up Sure. And then everything's patched together by these small jumper leads. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these jumper wires, they also come in different uh, types. And these ones we use, they're called premium. But basically, with the difference is they are silicone wires. They are not PVC. They are not breaking that easily as usual. Yeah, and you can, you can bend them easily. They are comfortable. They are fireproof. And they also tend to, you know, stay like this down if you, if you have a big setup with a lot of wires it helps you to manage them Absolutely. so yeah, yeah they're, not they're not so thick are they yeah, so they're they, not don't, so they don't obstruct not thick, the view yeah, they're so not much. stiff yeah, i mean they cannot break as easily as usually these wires do so these micro patches silicone ones premium uh, ones they work really well with our setup so yeah excellent <laughs> If you can hear, <laughs> actually, this this is this. I will tell you about a little bit about this setup. This is basically a stepper motor. I will remove the indicator for now. Basically, a stepper motor which you can find in like 3D printers, and you're just the printer and some uh, home appliance stuff. So it's really you know, if you fiddle with things, if you de disassemble things, I think you can find this anywhere. So yeah, and this is basically providing us the voltage, which is also a signal for the delay, for example, or we can do modulation with it. But for now, we are doing is it's as an audio and just passing it through the delay to have some effects. And when you turn the wheel as fast as you can, it will sound higher to the speed of your turning the wheel. That's brilliant. Yeah. Really good. We just did it for fun. We just did it in two days. I mean, before the exhibition. So just sit on, uh, on it for a half an hour and the module was done. So basically anyone who have a little of soldering skills or Arduino skills can connect everything to this synthesizer as well. Not just the guys who work with music, but the guys who love electronic stuff. And great. Yeah. Well, it's a really great format. Um, where can people buy it and when? Yeah. where will they be available? It will be available in June uh, on a Kickstarter first. We, we want to raise a little bit of money to make educational materials for this project because it's not just about the hardware itself or the, uh, the sound, it's also about the accessibility and for us it's the education for people who are just starting. So we want to make this available for people of different levels. Uh, so from the newbies to the experts, I think everybody will love it. And I hope you will order, if you will order it in June on a kickstart, I think you could get it in August, like shipped, because almost everything is prepared for launch, I mean for the production, and we're just polishing things and hoping to launch this summer Great. with your support. Well, thank <laughs> you very much for showing us, Leo, it was really good. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>